Hey folks, a yeah, beautiful day out today, like 27 degrees. Uh, I'm looking at the stories down at the bottom. <laughs> up to 40% of wild deer may have been exposed to coronavirus. So, and how do they know? They count them? So, this one kind of made me laugh. Real life Spongebob and Patrick spotted under the sea. <laughs> Are they in a pineapple? I wonder. So, doesn't look like a chance of rain for today, which is good. And the landlord's up on the roof right now. He's at the peak, so I'm guessing he's pretty much almost got the first half finished. Michelle is home. She came home this morning. And apparently the hospital couldn't find her medication or something. Don't they have it now? So I gotta go pick it up for her. And apparently the charger cord for her phone, I think. So yesterday I did a drop off, today I got a pickup. So she got her sandwich so they didn't confiscate it. <laughs> I don't think they inspected. She said it was still wrapped in the clothes, so they might not even have known it was there. It still makes me laugh. So, my money worries is no longer a worry. I tried to call Canada Revenue Agency yesterday. Their automated system is absolutely frustrating. So you go on the website and it's got a whole bunch of different subjects. It's got a different phone number for each subject. And you call that number and then you go through this stupid automated system. Press 1 for this, press 2 for that. And I got to the GST section. It just explained what the GST was and how you qualify for it. That's it. <laughs> it doesn't have any options to find anything out. So, I think, I, I tried to hit zero, no matter what menu I was on, I tried to hit zero to talk to somebody. Invalid input. So that doesn't work, apparently. Um, I, I got to one, I don't remember where it was, what it was, but it said I need to speak with an agent. And that was it. Didn't tell me how, didn't give me a number to call. I just said I need to, well that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I got so frustrated, I hung up so many times, tried different phone numbers, finally got a hold of somebody, he couldn't help, so he gave me a, a phone number to call, and then of course I had to go to that menu again, and try to press zero, nope. When you wait for it, it goes through the menu three times, and then it tells you to, to stay on the line, and connect you. It's, it's so frustrating going through all that. So, of course, all the, the phone numbers listed on the website, they all said zero waiting time, so that's good. So by the time I finally got to the point where I was ready to speak to somebody, it was a two-hour waiting. <laughs> so I spent the first hour with my phone on speakerphone, or on speaker, listening to the same music over and over and over and it was so loud and every once in a while I'd get interrupted by a basic message after like the fourth time I heard it it got me thinking um, maybe I can access this information through my my account so I went opened up my account went to the benefits section and there's a list of all the payments and all the dates. So August 5th, I'm supposed to get the GST. And on August 10th, I'm going to get a double trillion payment. Been an hour on hold for nothing. <laughs> all that information was on my website. All that frustration I went through. So today's August 5th. I got my GST today. <clears throat> and five days from now, I'll, I'll get the double trillion payment, so all is good now. It's good timing because apparently 
my um, video editor is due. I got three day notice on that. I think like, thanks for the heads up. So yeah, it expires in three days. I can still use it. I just don't have the update service, which I think in the last year there's only been two updates anyway. It's paying eighty dollars a year just for a couple updates. It's just ridiculous. So there's no rush to actually update. Um, only issue I'm going to have is the image stabilizer. I had to pay separately for that and it was good for a year so it'll be due as well so I won't be able to use that. Um, I might I think what I'm going to do today, I forgot to turn the scanner on. What I might do with this video, I might try to use the old one again. Because if the old one works, then I won't have to update. And I'm not sure... I don't remember, it wasn't all that expensive, but... I'm not sure... It, it's a plug-in. It's not part of the program itself, it's a plug-in. So I can probably pay for that only and not have to pay for the update service on the actual program. I don't know. I'll take a look at it and see what happens. But I might try the old one again today. Just see if I can get it to work and kind of go from there, I guess. I don't know. Either way, it's... The longer I sit here, the hotter I'm getting. <laughs> It's kind of hot in the garage today. It sounds pretty powerful. So, I think that's all I've got for the updates. I'd like to go out and enjoy this nice weather.
Thank you.
just a beautiful day out there today. I didn't want to come home. <laughs> I did an extra long, jo uh, extra long job, an extra long drive today, just to enjoy it, just to be out. And my legs are complaining about it now. It's sitting too long. So I was kind of glad to see the gent and the lady on the bench. Stopped and talked to them. I actually got off and stood up for a little bit. <laughs> Just to get some motion in my legs. That's that nuts. I sat out on the highway and I just... I was just roasting in the sun, but I was enjoying it. It didn't bother me at all. So, that was rather enjoyable. So, we're out. out of town there, come around the corner, and one single turkey all by itself come out of the, well, kind of a little bit of a clearing there. I don't think I've ever seen singles by themselves. They're usually in, in a flock. I think five or six maybe is the least amount I've ever seen together. I don't think I've ever seen just one. So, yeah, but after I got to the hospital, I left. Yeah, at the radio station, they have two towers there. And the last few times I've gone by, I saw these guys way up top doing some work. And I just can't really see it on the scooter cam. So I was going to stop and get a picture. And I was going to ask, and you guys, <laughs> could you do that? I couldn't. I get maybe 50 feet off the ground and I'd freeze up. That's just no. Even with safety cables, I just I would not be able to move. I would be terrified that high off the ground. But these guys working away like nothing. So I stopped today and actually got a picture. And is that what I think it is that they're installing? Could it be? looks like transmitters to me and I'm gonna have to look for a picture on the internet to compare it but I can't say that term YouTube's algorithm will pick it up but you know what I'm talking about I think so if that's the case then I guess technically officially it's here in Wingham they're still assembling so it's not active yet but well, it's here if that's what it is. That's what it looks like to me. It's possible, I guess. It could be a cell tower, but I can't see it. I'm not there. Um, I don't know. Because like I say, there, it's the radio station. There's two towers there. Uh, I believe... Um, I know... They have an FM station, 101.7. The one... I know they have an AM station. I think they have two FM stations. So I don't know if the two towers are for, you know, one for AM, one for FM. I'm not sure because they transmit at different frequencies, different powers. I don't know, actually. Cause there's always been, I know they didn't put the tower up just for this, that they might be installing and all that because it's always been there since I've lived in Wingham. But, I don't know. I'll have to do some research on that, I think. But, like I guess I'll take a look at it. I don't... I don't know. Like I say, I don't think it's a cell tower. We have a couple of cell towers in the edge of town. I'll, I have to drive on a dirt road to take a look at them, but I'll have to take a look and see if they look similar to know for sure. But I will take a look. Either way, and somewhere, depending on what side I put myself on the screen here, I'll put it over here or I'll put it over there. <laughs> That's kind of a confirmation of what I found, any if I found any information on it. So, I guess that's all I got. Uh, it's still really hot in here. In the garage itself. I'm seeing 32 degrees. And there's no glare there. Yeah, these things are way off. I don't think this one's right. I don't think this one's calibrated properly. This one says 
29 as you can see it there it is so they're obviously because I set them together they were both when it was 28 29 degrees I set them both the same and that one's 30 what was that again almost 32 so it's like they're off by three degrees. Yes, they're off by three degrees again. So I don't know. This one's not stuck. <laughs> I just don't know. I don't know, guys. One of them's lying, but like I say, it's really hot in here. I believe the white one, simply because of the heat, and it's pretty hot. <clears throat> so, I don't know. But that's all I got for this one. It's, I know it's going to be a long video anyway, so I gotta stop talking now. <laughs> Thanks for watching.